This course provides you with an overview of ARM's CoreSight debug and trace capability. We begin with a refresher on the fundamentals of debug and trace. We look at ARM's invasive and non-invasive debug capabilities. We look at how you can utilize ARM's built-in invasive debug capability to take a detailed look at how your software is interacting with the processor by halting it. For non-invasive debug, we look at the embedded trace macrocell, or ETM. This functionality provides you with a reconstruction of your program's flow, and in the course we walk through a simple example of how this works. The next section of the course looks at ARM's debug and trace infrastructure, the mechanism that allows you to connect to ARM's debug logic using an external debugger. We introduce all the main core site components, namely the debug control, control logic and the program tracking infrastructures, as well as the timestamp distribution logic that is important when correlating activity across several ETMs. Lastly, we look at the AMBER trace bus and advanced peripheral bus protocols. The ATB protocol is used for the path that transports the trace data from the trace source across the chip. The APB is used by CoreSight's debug control path, which is used for programming the CoreSight components.